Hello, Breakfast Club. I just want to thank all of you who join us regularly and those of you who visit for all your feedback over these last months. It has meant so much to all of us and we find it a privilege to serve you every day. Symbols are a powerful tool that enhances the impact of a story. Like water in a movie can symbolize new life in romance movies or how a certain animal can represent a person like King Richard the Lionheart. God uses symbols throughout his story in the Bible to tell the big story, the story of humanity. Today is the symbol of holiday. Now the scene here is the Hebrew people in Egypt where their firstborn have just been passed over by the angel of death because they had the lamb's blood on the door. This event was cemented as significant in the minds of the Hebrew people and it would be given new meaning with Jesus. This annual holiday or holy day was commemorated by baking bread without yeast for a full week. No yeast, symbolic of sin, was allowed anywhere in the land. On the seventh day, a festival was held and parents were to teach their children about the exodus from Egypt. This is what Moses said. This annual festival will be a visible sign to you like a mark branded on your hand or your forehead. Let it remind you always to recite this teaching of the Lord. With a strong hand, the Lord rescued you from Egypt. We humans tend to take more credit than we should. If we are rich, we think we earned it. If we have a great marriage, we think we made good decisions and can even think we should dole out advice to others. If our children turn out to be decent citizens, we think we parented well. In reality, we ultimately control none of those things. But how easily we think we can. In fact, we can pat ourselves on the back so much, we think God was not part of any of the good gifts we have. Our trust slowly shifts away from God towards ourselves. We become independent. This is exactly what God wanted to avoid, not for his sake, but for the sake of his people. He knew that life was only found in him, and so he used symbols to direct people back to him, back to life. This holiday was not just symbolic of an event. Did you catch what Moses said? It was symbolic of not just what, but who. God made this happen. He did it all. The Hebrew people were free from slavery, not because of their crafty planning or their military might, but by God's hand alone. Along with the holiday, they were to recite to each other with a strong hand, the Lord rescued you from Egypt. Many years later, at the same holiday, Jesus changed the bread to be symbolic of his body and the wine to symbolize his blood, but the who stayed the same. Today, all over the world, followers of Jesus celebrate the Lord's table and are reminded who orchestrated our freedom. We are freed from the power and penalty of sin, not because we go to church or we read the Bible or we avoid swearing or because of anything we do. Our freedom is because of Jesus. Our mantra to one another should be similar to the Hebrews, but with one change. With a strong hand, the Lord Jesus rescued you from sin. This is the message at every communion meal. The holiday of Passover was symbolic of our dependence on God for freedom, and in Him we are truly free. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for setting us free by your powerful hand. Thank you for your broken body that was nailed to a cross for us. Thank you for the blood that poured out, which has made is making and will make spiritual death pass over us. Thank you that the Lord's table is still a celebration of Passover, the ultimate Passover of death. Now, because of Jesus, 
we will never die. You are the God of freedom and power, and we will forever be dependent on your strong hand. Help us to not take credit for earning things we can only be gifted. Amen. God bless you, Breakfast Club. We'll see you tomorrow.